Welcome to Tbilisi in Georgia. I'm going to make a bold statement. In our opinion, we think Georgian food could be one of the most underrated and the tastiest on earth. Oh yeah, and in today's video, we're going to show you some of the best Georgian foods well, that we could think of. And because there is quite a lot, let's get on with it. First thing that we're going to grab is bread. Bread is a massive part of Georgian culture and actually it's a centerpiece in any Georgian table and we're going to grab it just from there. So this little hole in the wall bakery sells all different types of bread but the bread we're going for is called shoti which is cooked in a clay oven called a tone. I just asked if we can go inside the bakery and film and we got an approval. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> These breads called shorty puri, and puri in Georgian means bread in general. This one is shorty bread. Right. Oh my god. I mean, I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't tried Georgian bread before. I know I adore it and honestly, people know how to get it right. The bread is still warm. It tastes absolutely incredible. It's really, well, you know how fresh bread tastes. I don't need to tell you that, do I? But it's super crunchy and it's a bit chewy as well at the same time. It's salty, but you can taste that it's salty, that salt's been added to it, but it's not overly salty and it's just beautiful. And this is just a perfect partner in crime, I'd say, really, yeah, for anything on your table. That bread was amazing. And after that, I feel like we need something different. So we're going to have a hatch of puri and a few other bits. I'm going to get it at home, so let's go. So today's Saturday and all the restaurants are takeaway only. So we ordered from two different restaurants and we've got a bit of a Georgian feast. Take a look. This is a Jarian Hachipuri. There are lots of different types of Hachipuri in Georgia. Basically, it's a cheese bread. And this one's got an egg in the middle and a dollop of butter. We're gonna try all different types in different videos, but this is, for us, it's our favorite one. All the different types of Hachipuris come from different regions of Georgia. And this is called Ajarian Hachipuri because it's from the region of Ajara, which is where the city of Batumi is, in the southwest of the country, near the border with Turkey. So yeah, that's where this one comes from, but there's also Imeretian Hachapuri, Magrelian Hachapuri. Okay, we forgot two things for the thumbnail. So, <laughs> Georgia is famous also for its lemonades, and these two in particular are really interesting and really different. This one is Tarragon lemonade. It's called Tarhun. Called Tarhun. And the second one is with Fihua. Fihua is a fruit, but I think it's more of a berry and it tastes like people say different things about it it tastes for some it tastes like strawberry and kiwi for some it tastes like pineapple but it's a very very unique flavor i'll say both of them are so let's go for hinkari which are meat dumplings you've got a silky smooth beautiful pastry here inside you have meat and how are you supposed to eat them Buy a bit off and then you drink the broth from the inside and then you eat it and never eat this knob done never I eat the knob never, never eat the knob. knob life lesson i thought that 
it's done that way because people eat it by hand and they don't want to eat it but really ages ago they used to leave them out so at the end of your meal like in a bar restaurant whatever they would count how many you had and charge you accordingly right let's dig into the pakali which we really should have had before shouldn't we because it's supposed to be an appetizer but yeah. oh well when there's hachapuri on the plate yeah. on the table you go there first i love the little kick of pomegranate in there mm. Pali is a mashup basically of vegetables or herbs like spinach. It can be made out of spinach, like I know this one, the spinach one. This one, I'm still not sure what's in there, but for sure, you will have some walnuts in there, garlic, all sorts of spices and seasoning in there, and a pomegranate on top. I love this one the most. Me too. <laughs> just a fried aubergine, and then with the walnut paste on it, just gives it this nice little crunchy kick. And it's so gentle and creamy, mm. and I just love all the gin in itself, so... And then the little pomegranate on top, just from that. Oh, yeah. Right, we've got a few more things to try. This is called Elargi, and it comes from the Samigrello region of Georgia, and it is basically cornmeal, corn flour, and sorghoni cheese, which is like the Georgian staple cheese, all mixed together and then it turns into this stringy beautiful cheesy dish obviously it stretches better when it's warm but you know while all this filming going on it got a bit cool thumbnail needs and all that but i'm sure it tastes the same yeah so sorghum is a really salty cheese and you get the full whack of that along with the cornmeal that just gives it a nice crunch and you can still taste the corny flavor in there and yeah that is so nice so usually you're supposed to have this with a soup called harcho. So we got the walnut one, which we're going to try. Let's go. Whoa, it's a very, very thick soup. Very thick. It's actually delicious. You can really taste the walnuts and it's a, you give this, you have this creaminess of nuts and you can taste the spices in there as well. It's supposed to be spicy, but I would say it's spiced, but it's not like hot spicy. It's flavorsome. And also, Sorry. we took the cornbread as well to try. Ooh. It's very really nice to have it with any soups apparently, so let's give it a go. It smells of corn, like strongly, probably because of cornbread. <laughs> mm. It's pretty bland on itself, the flavor of it. You can't really taste any seasoning or spices in there at all. Well, spices, you don't put spices in bread anyway, but seasoning, like no salt or anything like that. It's pretty bland, it's quite stodgy as well, so it's not like a usual springy bread like we had earlier with you. But yeah, it's very nice, and I would imagine it's super nice with some uh, soup, like more watery soup rather than... I mean, there's one way to find out if it's good with that. Is it nice for that? It's good with the soup. I can confirm that. It's really nice with the soup. Mmm! Mm. Yeah. Yeah? It's very nice. It's, sim it's almost similar because of the corn flavour in the allergy. It's almost similar, isn't it? Dipping that in there. Yeah. With the, with the walnut soup. It's well nice. Yes. It's amazing. Right, we've got a lot more food to get through. The time's six o'clock. I reckon three or four hours we should be done. <laughs> so we'll see you when we get hungry again. <laughs> Also, we forgot to mention, there's beef in here as well. Mmm. That is good. The meat just falls apart. So we've been working all day today and all of a sudden we got very starving. So we thought it was a good excuse to tick another couple of things off our list. And let us show you what we've got. So this is Lobio which is a bean soup and it comes with mchadi, which is this cornbread and loads of different pickles and this one's called jonjoli this is gomi which is similar to elaji that we had the other day and this is gebjalia which we think are cheese rolls with mint inside and then they're dipped in sour cream and milk but we think this is a slightly different version so let's try Okay, let's try with Lobio. It's a very thick soup. Mm. 
it does go so well with pickles. Uh, it's really thick soup. Obviously, you can taste the beans because there are a lot of them. Red beans and it's quite spicy. There are lots of different Georgian spices. And then itself, it's, it's got a bit of a hint to it as well. It's extremely, extremely delicious and very hearty and like warming. It's really nice. It's like a thick gravy, isn't it, that, it, that yeah. the beans are in? With obviously the coriander and the spices in there, that is, that is amazing. Okay, let's try this one. We're not sure if you're supposed to try them together or not, but we're gonna go for it. Get the gomi. Straight into the gebjalia. Oh yeah, there's the cheese roll. Oh, there is a proper cheese roll. Mm -hmm. It's just in a different sauce rather than just being milk and sour cream. Mmm. Nice. Mm. Does it go nice together? Mm. Yeah. Really nice together. I guess that's why they sell it together. <laughs> Makes sense. Mmm. Let's try it. It's so unusual. Mm. So gomi on itself is like just a corn porridge, I'd say. And this is just amazing. The cheese it gives you this saltiness and majority of flavor comes from this sauce with cheese. The cheese is a bit salty, it's very chewy and it's not stretchy. I can't, even, I don't know what to come out. Probably the closest cheese I can think about to compare it to is halloumi. Yeah, it's, it's got that slightly... sort of meaty texture, isn't yes, it? Yes, it got meaty yeah. texture, but this one's slightly different in texture and it's just so creamy all of it together blended with all this blended with all these spices it's incredibly delicious right as we said we're starving we're gonna tuck in so yeah bon appetit we just popped out to stretch our legs after sitting at home working all day and then after we're gonna grab some more food We ended up in a place called Pasanuri and ordered Chihirtma, which is a chicken soup combined with fresh herbs, egg, flour and vinegar. It's very unusual, rich and incredibly comforting. Apparently, it's the perfect hangover cure. Also, we ordered a fresh salad on the side. And we got a jahuri traditional Georgian dish which is fried potatoes with some meat we got veal here but you can literally have it with any meat in Georgian a jahuri means family typically this dish is cooked for the whole family okay we just got out of the restaurant after another amazing meal it started raining so we've just nipped into a doorway and Bear in mind, we only scratched the surface with food in Georgia and you'll be seeing a lot more food in all our videos from Georgia and thanks for watching, see you in the next one! This one, oh, so funny! Wait.